Hello and welcome to the session. Let's work out the following problem. It says P, Q, R, S are points on a vertical line so that P is the highest and P, Q is equal to Q, R is equal to R, S. If body falls from rest at P, prove that the times of describing the successive intervals are in the ratio 1 is to root 2 minus 1 is to root 3 minus root 2. So let's now move on to the solution. We are given that P, Q, R, S are points, the vertical line so that P, Q is equal to Q, R is equal to R, S. Let this be equal to H. Is this much as H? This much as H and this much as S H. So P S is equal to 3 H. Now we have to find the time taken to descend the distance P Q Q R and R S. Now PQ is H, QR is PR minus PQ that is 2H minus H and similarly RS is equal to PS minus PQ plus QR that is 3H minus 2H, right? Now let P1, T2 and T3 be the time taken to descend the distance PQ QR and RS respectively now since the motion is vertically downwards so H is equal to 1 by 2 GT square, right? And since here the time taken to dis descend distance PQ is T1, so H will be 1 by 2 into GT1 square. So this implies T1 is equal to under the root 2H by G. Now further let capital T be the time taken to descend the distance PR which is 2H. So 2H is equal to 1 by 2 GT square since capital T is the time taken to descend the distance PR that is 2H. So this implies capital T is equal to under the root 4H upon G. Now we have assumed that T2 is the time taken to descend the distance QR. So small t2 is equal to time taken to descend PR minus 
time taken to descend p q now time taken to descend p r is under the root 4h by g and time taken to descend p q is t1 which is under the root 2h by g now let t be the time taken to descend S, which is 3H. Therefore, 3H is equal to 1 by 2 G T square. So this implies T is equal to under the root 6H upon G. Now we have assumed that small t3 is the time taken to descend the distance RS, which is equal to time taken to descend ps minus time taken to descend pr now time taken to descend ps is under the root 6h upon g and time taken to descend pr is 4h upon g under the root 4h upon g right now we have to prove that the times of describing the successive intervals are in the ratio 1 is to root 2 minus 1 is to root 3 minus root 2. That means we have to find the ratio of T1, T2 and T3. T1 is to T2 is to T3. Now T1 is under the root 2H upon G. T2 is under the root 4H upon g minus under the root 2h upon g and t3 is under the root 6h upon g minus under the root 4h upon g cancelling h by g from all the ratios we have under the root 2 is to under root 4 minus under root 2 is to under root 6 minus under root 4. This is again under root 4 is to under the root 2 into 2 minus under the root 2 is to under the root 2 into 3 minus under the root 2 into 2. Now cancelling root 2. We have 1 is to root 2 minus 1 is to root 3 minus root 2. And this is what we have to prove. The ratio is 1 is to under the root 2 minus 1 is to under the root 3 minus under the root 2. So this completes the question and the session. Bye for now. Take care. Have a good day.